Okay, FAQ number 108. Did God promote polygamy in 2 Samuel chapter 12, verses 7 through 8? Let's look at the scripture here. It says, And Nathan said to David, Thou art the man. Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I anointed thee king over Israel, and I delivered thee out of the hand of Saul. And I gave thee thy master's house and thy master's wives into thy bosom, and gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah. And if that had been too little, I would moreover have given unto thee such and such things. So God obviously is saying, okay, Saul's wives, now they're David's wives. And you say, well, then that obviously would have been polygamy. Well, what you have to realize is uh, there's a lot of stuff that was going on back there in the Old Testament that's very different than today. Um, the situation was different. God is building a kingdom all right, uh, with the Jewish people. Now, that's not the same way today. Okay, That kingdom there was supposed to be ruled by men. You know, and the kingdom that's coming in the future is going to be ruled by Jesus Christ. Okay, so there's different setups, different things going on there. And, um, you know, just because God gives David these wives doesn't mean that he had to go have physical relations with them. You know, uh, you know, again, you know, um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of the stuff. Honestly, it's it's just like you know, the just shall live by faith. I'm just going to say it that way. You know, there's a lot of things that the Lord does, and a lot of things the Lord says, and things like that. And you you can go, well, that just seems unjust, and I don't understand what. Well, there's a lot of stuff about the Lord that we just don't understand. Uh, we're not told to understand the Lord. We're told to trust the Lord, and to obey Him. And um, you know, the Bible talks about, shall the thing formed say to him that that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? You know, uh, that's a verse to keep in mind. You don't say as a Christian, you don't say, I don't understand why you would do this, God. Um, we need to have fear of God. We need to just accept what God does and just simply say, well, God had a reason. You know, as men, as sinful men, we can look at that and we can say, wait a second. Here it's saying God gives Saul's wives to David, but in the New Testament it says that, that we're supposed to be the husband of one wife. Isn't that a contradiction? No, it's not a contradiction. Why? Well, because God did it. God cannot sin. God cannot do evil in terms of, you know, wickedness and stuff like that. God can't sin. God had a purpose that we can't see, that we can't understand. All right. Um, is God just in sending people to hell? Yes, he is. There's a lot of people that are going to go to hell that we don't think are bad people right now. And uh, they're not going to go down there and just burn up and magically disappear. They're going to be down there screaming forever. So I don't understand that. That's the point. God does things that we don't understand sometimes. Uh, you know, and again, I saw some guy wrote um, me a uh, thing and he said, you know, the Bible in one point, I forget where it was at now, but he said about how that, uh, you know, God's like, you know, when you go into this city and you take this city, take their wives and their children under your own. They're your possession now. Now again, you know, you assume that that means that then you can go in and you can have bare children to those foreign women. But the text doesn't say that. Okay? Uh, you know, again, you're taking them probably as slaves, essentially. And I think that's probably what's going on here. God has reasons for this stuff. He understands everything from beginning to end. We can't. You know, there's a lot of our history that has been changed and whatever, we don't really understand what happened way back there in the past. Um, I just have to shrug my shoulders and you, know, you read that and you go, huh, you know. Uh, I think a lot of it is just, you know, the Lord wants us to live by faith. He wants us to trust Him. And so He'll allow some stuff like this where you look at it and you go, I just don't understand why He'd put that in there. I don't understand this thing here. And it's like the Lord saying, up, up there saying, but do you trust me? Sure. I trust the Lord. Whatever he wants to put in here. So, that's my answer to that.